Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back, my name is Fizz, and today we're going to take a look at how to tame, actually make, enforcers. That's right, you don't actually tame them, you actually make them. Just like the scout, you're going to need a couple of things, but before we start, let's start with where they are located in the map. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is find a city terminal. These are located in the abandoned city, the desert biome, and in the snow biome. After you have located one, you want to go up to it and open its inventory and look at the crafting recipe for it. 50 crystal, 500 element dust, 60 metal ingots, 20 oil, and 30 polymer. A way to get elemental dust is actually killing enforcers and harvest them, as well as harvesting light posts and anything tech related. And mostly everything is going to give you elemental dust, for the most part for killing, if it's an elemental creature. A good way to get some early oil is also outside the city walls. These rocks outside have lots of oil in them, so there you go. That's how you get some early oil spawns. If you also need obsidian outside the city walls as well, a little bit more towards the sulfur fields, there are these rocks as well, which also have obsidian. Very cool, very nice. Or kill a corrupted creature and get its corrupted nodule. This acts as organic polymer for the map, so uh, yeah, have fun farming that as well. Now, I also want to note, just like the scout, if you kill a wild enforcer, you can get a better blueprint than the one that's in the terminal. Even better, it can be way more expensive! That's the plus and minuses of getting one in the wild, I guess, though. For its abilities, left click is just a standard attack again. It doesn't really do much, it's just its attack. Now its right click ability is its blink ability. So basically, if going back to the enforcers in the wild, if you get a better level, you can have a chance of having more blinks. At the moment for testing, I found that 5 is the max blinks that you can get for a uh, enforcer. Now, also holding right click, you can actually determine where you want to blink if you're not in a hurry. You can actually blink to walls, which also goes into its other ability. It can climb on walls. That's right, it can climb on walls. Very, very cool. And you can keep using this until you use too many blinks. Now, I would be worried uh, being attached to the wall is just like a rock trick, so being attached to the wall uses stamina, so be very cautious to not run out of stamina. The Enforcer also will not take fall damage if you use your blink as well as just fall off and go into the fetal position so that way it lands perfectly sound. And for its final ability, C is just a small knockback. There is a cooldown on this knockback. You can see in the top right the little red heart. That's a cooldown. When it gets depleted, you can use it again. And lastly, just like the scout, they do not eat food, but they take element dust to run. So, well, technically eat, the enforcer does. And it's kind of like its energy source, so technically it is eating. Uh, but yeah, so make sure you have a lot of uh, elemental dust, and it's not too hard to get any, so you shouldn't have not a problem. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. If you guys like this video, leave a thumbs up, like, share, comment, name it. I have a free Extinction server right now hosted on my Discord. You can go check the link description down below to join if you want to join. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care and have a good one.